Assalamu alaikum students. Today we will continue with our chapter that is adverbs, degree, frequency, negation and interrogative. This chapter is on page number 3 and this is part 2 of it. So let's get started. We have already discussed adverbs of degree and adverbs of frequency in the previous video. So in today's video, we will see what adverbs of negation is. Adverbs of negation, it states that any word that is used to form the negative of a verb or any word that gives out the negative sense to a verb is known as adverbs of negation. For example, Asad could not sit for the examination as he was ill. In this sentence, the word not, which is written in bold, is used for the negative word that is could, right, which shows adverb of negation. In the same way, John is not feeling well and wants to go home. Again here, the word not is used for the negative of the verb feeling. Now let's see what interrogative adverbs are. Those adverbs that are used to ask a question or we can say that any adverb that helps in creating question is known as interrogative adverb. For example, why have you not done your work? In this question, the word why is asking for a reason that considered as an adverb of cause or adverb of reason. B. When did Jane come home last night? In the same way, the word when is referring to a time that is at what time. Thus, it can, it can be considered as adverb of time. Right? The next one is where did the battle take place? Here the word where is referring at what place that can be considered as adverb of place. And D. How did the thief manage to, es to escape? Here the word how refers that in what way which can be considered as adverb of manner. Now. There is this note that must be remembered which states that interrogative adverbs can be used with another adverbs. For example, how well did Gani studied? Number two, how hard has Babur studied? And number three, how soon can you finish the work? In all these examples, word how is an interrogative adverb as it is referring to a question while the word that are under uh, while the words that are underlined uh, that is well hard and soon are simple adverbs now there is this note number 2 which states that how interrogative adverbs can be used with adjectives for example number 1 how tall is that building? Number two, how big is the city? And number three, how ill is the patient? Similarly, in these sentences, the word how is referring to an interrogative adverb and the words that are written in bold are adjectives that are tall, big and ill. And this is the last note that is number 3 uh, which is showing that how interrogative adverbs can be used with much and many and the examples are number 1 how much sugar have you put into the tea and number 2 how many books have you read this month now here our chapter is finished and we will continue with the next chapter in the next video inshallah i hope it will be beneficial for you but if you are having any question regarding the video you can ask me in the google meet uh, that will be that we will be having uh, inshallah very soon so i hope it will be beneficial for you do practice for it thank you allah hafiz